Look, a plasma is generated by this Tesla coil. Now let me check with a matchstick. You can see it burns a paper easily. Be careful while playing with Tesla coil. It produces high voltages at low currents. It will hurt you. You can see that fumes are coming out. Now let me check with a neon bulb. Let me check with the CFL. Hello friends, it's me Soparnika again with a new video. Today I will show you how to make a mini Tesla coil. Tesla coil is nothing but a simple double tuned resonant transformer. It produces high voltages at low current. To show you how to make a Tesla coil, I have bought a DIY kit through online and also I, sh I will show you how to assemble it and what are the components required to build it. For your reference, a link is given in the description where you can purchase it in a very cheap price. So friends, let's start. First of all, we will go through the components. The components which came with the kit. In that, number one is a printed circuit board. So you can see all the components are marked in this board itself. So it is very easy to place the components accordingly. The primary coil is already marked in this board, so we don't have to make it. Next is secondary coil, which comes with the kit. It has two ends, one bottom and up. The bottom side will be connected to the circuit board. The letter T has written here where we have to connect the secondary coil. Next is a MOSFET BD243. A heat sink. Next a on off switch. Next a DC socket. A ceramic capacitor. Next a LED. Spacers. Next screws. Next a 10K resistor, a neon bulb, this is actually used to check the Tesla coil. Other than the two, we need some more items, in that number one is a plastic container. It will be the base of Tesla coil. Next a decoration light, this light has nothing to do with Tesla coil, this is only for a decoration purpose. This is the base for Tesla coil and the PCB will sit on this base. So first of all, let me mark the holes. Later we will drill it. So let me make the holes. Be careful while using drilling machine. Now the next hole. Now let me fix spacers. So we need three spacers and three screws. Check the PCB and screws are sitting properly or not. Distance between screws are all okay. Now let's assemble the PCB. Now let me solder small components first. First, the 10K resistor. Now let me solder it. Now let me cut 
excess pain with cutter. Now let me fit the capacity. Now solder it. Now cut the excess pin. Next we will fit the LED. Take care of polarity. The long leg is positive and short leg is negative. The positive and negative is already marked in this board. Now let's fit the switch. Now tight it with this screw. Like this. Now solder it to the PCB. Solder the DC socket. Now apply some glue on the secondary coil. This bottom wire should go inside the terminal. Now solder it. Now turn it around. Now our circuit is almost ready. Now let's check it is working or not. Now we require a 12 volt DC adapter. Here I will not be using an adapter, I will use my bench power supply. Please note that the input voltage should not exceed 12 volt. Now let us test. Now let me remove it from the helping hand. Now let me insert the DC jack to the DC socket. Now let me switch on the circuit. Now you can see a blue light is glowing inside. That means our circuit is working. Now let me check it with a neon bulb. Now you can see that the bulb is glowing without any connection. Now you can see a plasma is coming out of this coil. If you want to see clearly, I will zoom. If you want to see the plasma clearly, I will switch off my lights. You can see a blue light is coming out of this coil. This is actually plasma. Now let me switch on all lights. Now let me switch off the circuit. Now I will show you what the plasma can do. You can see it burns a paper into it. Be careful while playing with Tesla coil, 
it produces high voltages at low current it will hurt you now i will show you what a plasma can do to a plastic you can see that fumes are coming out now you can see our tesla coil is working fine disconnect the wire now let me place it over the base now put all screws now tight all the screws now i will do some decoration work for that i will use a fancy light first of all we want a plastic container we will roll it over it for a round shape now roll it like this Tesla coil base and place the light inside this container. Now place it like this. Switch on the light. Now place the top. Now it looks good. Now let me check it once more using neon light. You can see the light is glowing. 